FM 104's Strawberry Alarm Clock. The Strawberry Alarm Clock on FM 104. Jones FM 4, it is the Strawberry Alarm Clock in studio or two. Very Absolute calm. superstars who have gone from two people on a, on a talent show to global stars, phenomenons. Global phenomenons. So They've quiet. represented their country twice. They like, all right, stop. Breakfast cereal. Collaborate and listen. It's time for Jedward. Jedward's back on FM 104. Guys, we're starting to be here. Very excited. Yes, okay, let's look, talk about Childline first. Uh, the poster there. and uh, Amazing. John and Edward, we're just saying. Uh, what a great lineup it is this year! Amazing yeah, I lineup. think it's going to be amazing because the people that are usually on it, you get to meet them backstage. So we, the last time we saw the script was in Belfast, so we're really excited about meeting them again, and then we we'll get to meet Little Mix and be like, "Yo, what's I think up?" It's going to be amazing. We're performing all their brand new songs. You're going to be performing JLS, like Little Mix, Jedward, and then you got like. Lost There's a really good there. atmosphere, Charlan, and at the last song, everybody runs on and everybody's waving. So I'm going to be like right between the script. So how many songs do you guys get to do? Um, I think you get to do like three or four. So what are you going to do? Um, I don't know, whatever. We're going to sing a song called Break Even. Okay. It's like an original song from Jedward. And okay, yeah. The script don't... T- t- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the man who can't be moved. You guys are veterans of these things now. You're not the new guys anymore. I'm going to miss Westlife. You yeah. know? Yeah. It's kind of crazy because we did the, the, cro- the last two shows in Crow Park and when they said it was over, I didn't really was going to believe it was over and now it's actually over and I'm like, yeah, it's over. Is that what you'll do one day? Will you guys ever split up? Never. I, I don't like, think me and John's... It's not like we're going to ever split up. You can. You can split up. No. You can have creative differences. And John, they're, they're bonded for life, John might be into reggae and Edward might be into, you know, rock and roll. And okay, you'll we'll, have a big round and then you have solo albums. We can like, like Oasis. Get yeah, exactly. They get their brothers. They Which get, one's no? Um, is no like, is no the more like moody one? No, it's Liam. Okay. I'll be Liam. I, I'll no. No, it's the Liam, Liam, one. I'll be no. I'll, I'm no. You can't both be no. no you're Liam, John. Well, I'll, okay. Who throws stuff the most? Yeah, probably. You throw no, stuff. No, you're the person throws stuff. Liam, I'll be no. It was read it in court. Who wears cool glasses? Isn't the court thing? That uh, Liam tried to smash a guitar over Noel's head. Okay, well that sounds like John. Liam doesn't think Peter Kay's funny, so I don't like him. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> you have a good friend, Tara Reid, don't you? Yeah, Tara's really cool. She was in with us. Yes. Do you remember? Did you hear that? Tara Reid, her laugh. Yeah, I saw this on YouTube. <laughs> what was the story <laughs> with them? Her fan, Your fans started attacking her because... She was just on holidays with you. I think I think our fans, anybody who's like who, who, who talks to us, they're always like, "Oh my god, what's going on there? What's going on there?" They're just like really protected. It's very possessive. They, they, they don't want you to have girlfriends. Yeah, it? but they they're... want to all be your girlfriends. Just just yeah, friend. yeah, they're just friends. Do, they're, do, do you have girlfriends? No, we don't have girlfriends. Let's just I, say, don't, okay. I don't have a girlfriend right now. Are Let's you? just say, guys, I don't have a girlfriend. We're writing a lot of songs about girls and okay. a lot of cool things that we get up to. Let's just entirely laugh. So okay? you get up, you get up to messing, do you? No, we're writing a lot of cool songs. Went to hear. But you have to write the songs about stuff, do you? Yeah, so stuff has to happen. Emotional. Yeah, stuff goes down. Stuff goes down. Stuff goes down. <laughs> Stuff goes down. Is that the name of one of the songs? No. <laughs> this is this is your friend Tara, Let's and she, to she's it. she's laughing when she was on the show. This is all her laughs put together. This okay? might change how you feel about her. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a strange. Have you noticed that laugh? <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like you guys had a really really good time. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, like, <laughs> sounds like stuff's going down. Stuff's going down. <laughs> no, she's laughing. She's in the room with you guys. Uh, Thank you. I think she laughs louder than that. Is that the way she laughs with you guys? I don't think so. I think she laughs differently. Okay, she was maybe a nervous laugh when she was in with us. I think she was scared. I think yeah. she was scared, you guys. But but she hangs out with you guys, though, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, she's. I think she's really cool. She's real, she's real focused. She's always like thinking ahead of what's next, and she she get, she's like um. It's like a big planning. sister kind of vibe, is it? Yeah, guys, we got a new song out. It's called yeah, Luminous. Al- Luminous, and even new album and everything coming. Oh no, it's already out. Our album's already out. But guys, of course it is. Sorry, our, our, our Lumina, our Lumina song is totally different to anything. You have you heard it? No, you haven't yes, heard it, but you will hear it. It's brilliant. What's it about? Well, I think the, the whole thing about it is that it's like a big uplifting song. It's all like kind of like creating cool light. Vibe. So about, I think markers, it's about being it? luminous. It's about standing out from the crowd and just doing your own thing. You guys are all luminous. I have a luminous uh, highlighter pen. No, it's not about that. The no, thing is that same, when we're doing the music yeah. video, everyone's like, I'm going to make this crazy luminous video where it's, it's going to... It's about whatever you want it to be. If you listen to it, you can relate to it. No, because everyone's... Is it about high-vis jackets? The builders... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, when they listen to it, that's what it's about for them. Yeah, it's different high, for everybody. John and Edward high-vis jackets that you wear on stage yes. with the hard hats. It's different for everybody. <laughs> some people really go into the deep meaning like, oh my God, what's it about? And then some people are just like, yeah, luminous paint. Come here, Louis Walsh was in terrible trouble the other night. Did you see that? Well, we didn't get to we get to see, but everyone's talking. Yeah, everyone's talking about there's it. A, there's a guy called Rylan and there's a girl called Caroline. Is it? 
Caroline. Yeah, Caroline was a very good singer, but she was kind of boring, you know. The, and, and there's a guy who's Ryland, who's everyone doesn't really like him, and there's a bit of drama about him. But so. this this happened to you guys when you were in X Factor that you were kept, and then people that uh, we we uh, haven't seen. We I think we're totally different. To like we're always compared to different people on the show, but I think like when you're actually watching the show, like we haven't actually got to see it. You got a hard time in X yeah, Factor. Yeah, like everybody's like, I don't like Jedward. Yeah, and it's and like why are they keeping them? Yeah, in? and then suddenly it all shifted, and everyone thought Jedward are brilliant. So, but, no, but the you, same you, things happen for Ryland at the moment. Everyone yeah. hates Ryland. This guy's in a different league. Like you guys he, wouldn't deserve. Yeah, he's not likable like you guys. So he gets he, he um he's awful. Yeah. But the thing about it is, I think I know people go out during the early stage. But you got to think: is a person going to win it? Because even if they go out now, they're, if they don't go out this week, they'll probably go out the next week or it the other matter, week. Yeah. It's either going if they deserve to win, then you'd really freak out. Going that person should have won it, but yeah. if they didn't, if you don't, if you don't think you see yourself going out to buy their album, then you don't need to worry about it. But I know there's all this controversy. Yeah, well, he's uh, got a point. I don't know whether you, Caroline would have won it. it. Okay, probably so not. To get so, me think about it, she would have gone. She would have gone out maybe next week or the other week. So it's not like only one person's going to win it. Because if I'd gone to deadlock um, in, in in our in our week, we would have we would have been through as well. Yeah, because we got more votes than. I think That's I, right, you should have kept we, in. I remember there was uproar about that. How many times did you And with statistics it? and everything, they said that we were going to go right up there. Well, I, think yeah. since doing, I think since doing X Factor, we now come really, really far. We're on our third album, like we're like writing songs. But guys, I don't think it's crazy that we had the song Young Love, and then Kesha's song called Die Young, and then One Direction got Live While We're Young, and then that song Young by Fun. Paul Young was doing Forever Young 20 years ago. It's, it's not a new thing. Yeah, but there's loads of Young songs right now. <laughs> Paul oh, Young, yeah. Oh, I, is, I think it young. is weird. Is that a conspiracy theory? Is I don't it, know. I think everyone just wants to... That the, 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 the Simon Cowell is in charge and he's releasing only songs with young in it. <laughs> is, he, is Simon Cowell some kind of uh, uber... uber? He's, he's, he's got a good time. Isn't, is he, isn't, he like, isn't he like a James Bond villain? He lives, he lives in LA with his big cat and he just rubs his cat. Yeah. I think he likes dogs. He doesn't I even bother like to come over to the UK anymore. No. He doesn't have to. He I think I th screen. But I think he's kind of like when he says something, everybody goes by its fact. This is not water. This is Coca Cola. When and everyone like, is it true? As if people like, it's water, but oh, no, no, he said it's Coke. Have you ever tried to balance a football on Sam Kell's head? Because I wouldn't say it would roll off. Yeah, it's like it's like yeah, maybe it's like a head. table, isn't it? You know, you know, you know the models with the books where they could balance a book in their head. Yeah, like Kell like, could have a, a ball and it wouldn't roll off. Yeah, because it's really like a little, ta it's like a little hairy table. It's kind of crazy. Imagine being like his his hairdresser and you walk in. It's like yeah, I want the normal hair. And the hairdresser is like has ruler and it's like. Chup, chup, does he ever ring you? I don't, he, he rang us for Eurovision, but we're not really kind of, he doesn't make decisions or anything no. to do with us. We kind of just are totally separate to everybody Well, he else. needs to call us and have us back on the show to perform Luminous. It'll be an out-of-this-world performance, and I'd be like... Are you going back on to do that? I would would like to. We'd like to. Can have Louis, to. Can Come Louis on, everyone's been back. we got to be back and like totally rock it. Can Louis not organise that? Sure, he's in charge now. He deserved to be on that stage. <laughs> he deserved to be on that stage. That's the way Louis does, isn't it? These guys get it, you know. Can you do an impersonation of Louis? <laughs> I do, do. The Westlife guys can. Uh, can I, um, uh, what could you do? Edward? John Edwards, where are you working? <laughs> John Edwards. It works so hard. How do we do it? Um, <laughs> you just like that, didn't you? You just like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, I can't. Really I, I I can do it. We with met his mom. mom. We met his whole entire family. I like literally every time. Spot. Every time we come to like Castle Bar, it's like this little Louis Walsh gather party at the side stage. His hair is like a traffic light. It changes color every week, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> no, it's always the same color. It's, it's always brown it's, it's one week, really then it's gray, and then it's brown again, then it's red, then it's a, a kind of blue. I don't really, I don't, I don't really look at his hair, but I, well, I, I think his hair. His hair. I think his hair right now is the best hair he's ever had because he's channeling. He's channeling. He's what is it? Channeling. It's, it's inner Jedward. Well, speaking of hair, you're, you you got loads of hair. Your fringes are gone. Hair, thanks for noticing. Huh? You guys are sporting a more Leonardo DiCaprio hair now, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, it's, it's, it's no, Lance, we're always going to have spiky hair. I have to ask you this, right? Because this came up on, as a topic. What? You know your man from Twilight? Yes. Robert Pattinson. I think he could be your big brother. Yeah, a lot of people. He looks like you. Yeah, a lot of people go because uh, lots of people discover Jedward because Jacob and Ed are at Twilight when they come together. It makes Jedward. So like lots of our fans in America, that's how they discovered us. But then everyone always goes, "We look like vampires." But no, you don't look like vampires. But he could be your <laughs> older brother, right? So I, if, he could be, but we actually have an older brother called Kevin James, who's probably listening right now, going, "I'm their older brother." What does he do? Does he do, does he help out in any way? No, he's in, he's in college right now. He just kind of what's he doing? Normal life. He's got a normal life. What's he doing in college? Um, he does like business and he does like law and all that type of stuff. He's doing loads of different things. Yeah. And does he does he go into a party now and go? Do you know who? You never guess who my brothers are. <laughs> <laughs> does he? Yeah. He probably does. He probably like he probably what? gets hounded for tickets. Say within he ten goes. seconds of meeting a young one, he's like, Jedward, my brothers. My brothers yeah. are. Uh, can you get <laughs> that's, 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 seal, that's a seal. That's that's the come yeah. back to my house. No, no, he might he, he might bring one of his friends home and they'll just be like, 
when they see us walking around with cereal. And they're, they're like, <laughs> we walk in, it's like, oh, hey, what's up? Or else yeah. he brings a girl back and goes, see those curtains? They used to belong to Michael Jackson. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How often do you get home, lads? But anytime we're in Ireland, we, all, we're always, we, we, go, we go home because like, we don't get to like, worry about washing or any other type of stuff. Like, we're home later, okay? And, like, I'm, do you I'm bring gonna... home your jocks from Japan and stuff, do you? <laughs> well, you get your mouth to wash them. First. Yeah, we do. Sometimes we do. We just get, get like, a laundry bag and put it in there and then you take it out and it's all wet still. It's crazy. That's just like being a student in Carlo, only you're just further away. You just yeah. bring, you bring yeah. a, a gear bag full of dirty clothes but to I, your mouth. I think that like, like underpants and, like, and like, socks, they only have like, a certain lifespan. You can't, you can't just watch keep them. wearing the same pair forever. So you, they, they so gotta reach the how day. How long is the lifespan? You say bye bye. Four washes and they're gone. I think a couple of maybe I don't know because sometimes we used to like just wear maybe maybe like once or twice and then we get a new pair. But then but when you go you on throw, to, when you, you go throw on tour, them out. listen when you go on tour for a month, you, like wash you don't get time to get and wash your clothes. So you just basically sometimes it feels good to put a nice fresh pair on that hasn't been never been worn or never been. So cleaned. do you throw away your old jocks? Yeah, just like clean and find it. Yeah, but I know they nicked. That's not I don't, a waste, really, I don't really throw them knowledge. away because I don't. Yeah, want, but you only have a shower in a hotel room. Yeah, and then the, the, all the water sometimes just like splashes onto everything that was inside the bath. Yeah, yeah. so you don't want to bring like a, a, a wet like kind of pair of like. No, no just leave them there. You buy a gaff now together, or you buy separate houses? I, we're thinking of buying a house in. We're buying New York. this amazing cool house in New York, but the contract's already signed. In New York, so we were too late. In New York, yeah. So we're gonna live. I think because it's it's crazy. It's it's always moving. It's always you always see it in the. That's your tempo, it isn't it? Yeah. Home and Alone. Is and like that's Nobby's favorite film. I think it's just Home Alone that kind of inspired everybody to go to New York. Home Alone, an amazing film. Yeah, so it's good. unreal. I love it's it. Like so I don't know how many I don't know how many times we bought the movie. We literally buy every box I set, every it. limited edition. Every we go into like the, the DVD shop. That's the thing is, K. The fourth the fourth installment of Home Alone was Brutal. so much. There was so much budget put into it. You could see that was so much way more put into it than it the fourth. originals. But. It's just, it's all about the, uh, Macaulay Culkin. He was like way cool. I recently bought a Macaulay Culkin, uh, or a fan gave me a t-shirt with like Home Alone. Oh you're yeah. Just, you're getting pennies. So I think it's like, it's like him going, ah. So it's, on, it's on the t-shirt. Well, it's listen, pretty good. Lads, it's been great to see you. You're going to be playing a child line, which of course tickets go on sale. They're going to be gone like that. They're going to be like, gone like, like hot cakes. And Luminous is the single. Yes. Uh, about the high vis jackets. Best of luck with that. No, it's not about the high vis jackets. Joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> and um, yeah, but don't worry. You guys have been playing it all the time. You're going to play it uh, every once a day. I think you guys should play it and don't tell it to everyone it's Jedward and then get people to text single. Who the hell was Just that? Just say it's a new song from Swedish House Mafia or something like that. Okay, we'll do. Or that. David Guetta. All right, listen, John Edward Jedward. Thanks very much. It's been great to see it. See you again soon. Okay, cool. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. It's been a very chill day. Can I press one of his buttons? No. Yeah, go ahead. Ha yeah. <laughs> ha! In your face, Carrie. <laughs> Who's Carrie? It's a county. Oh, oh yeah. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! In your face, Carrie. The Strawberry Alarm Clock. FM 104. FM 104.